Yeah. Jon, that was a, a really tough FA Cup tie to, to come through. What did you make of your, your team's display today? No, it was a brilliant win. Uh, we all know it was a brilliant win. Uh, we knew coming here with a new manager, you could feel the positive energy around the stadium. Uh, you could see we started very intense Norwich in that way. They asked us a lot of questions. I think all the players had very good answers uh, to that. We played with extremely discipline, intensity, and of course the clean sheet was a, was a key to the game. You look, all the changes are made uh, before the game, so a big compliment to the, to the players who came in. Uh, also changed with Scott getting injured after a couple of minutes, young Ashley coming in, the boy is only 70 years old. Yes. Normally he gets cramped in the end of the game, now he manages it. So I just told him, uh, yeah, you need to play in rain every time, boy. Then you play probably 90 minutes. Uh, but it was a great win, and uh, I think our fans were the, is really, really happy to be in the, in the, in the draw. And now we are playing a home game, um, the next game. Yeah, that's good. Forest Green Rovers all burning in, in the next round. Opportunity maybe to go a bit deeper in the competition? Uh, we all know we already had a great run in the Indiana the Cup. Uh, winning three round, being giant, giant killers against West Ham. And then, and then losing against Nottingham uh, at home, so it's, a, it's, a, it's perfect to be involved in the in, in the cup, especially the FA Cup with all the history. Yeah, some real standout performances today. Your goalkeeper today, Ainsley Pears, terrific display from him. Dom high and body on the line all the time, lots of rocks. And as you mentioned, Phillips coming in after being put on as a substitute. Uh, how did you rate those performances? Are oh, you totally right? Uh, great performance on a high level. Uh, I don't want to only pick uh, pick those boys out because the rest of the team were brilliant. I was very happy with the with the with the discipline and the intensity they played with, uh, and also you can see the goal we scored it came of course from from an error from Norwich, but uh, we we made that error in that way. So it was a great goal, and keeping a clean sheet away at Norwich with with a new manager with the positive energy around the stadium. It's not easy, but the, but the boys made it um, easy in a way. Second senior goal for, for Jack Vale. What kind of boosting confidence that will that give him? Yeah, and he's just back for injury as well. Uh, he scored against West Ham away, so um, I was delighted with uh, with Jack's performance as well. He's a he's a he's a young boy uh, who needs to learn a lot still, but he's he's working on that, and he's been unlucky where he got injured in the pre-season here after the World Cup. So he only been training for a week now. And it was difficult conditions, you're absolutely soaking wet. That's not, thing, not something you could have prepared for, that kind of weather here today. I think uh, I'm from Denmark. It's also quite rainy and cold there, like England. So we're used to it, huh? we all know that. Yeah. Next up, Rotherham, back to the championship <coughs> again. You've got a, a bit of time to prepare for that. How useful will that be? Well, first of all, it changed a lot of players today uh, because the, the squad was stretched the, the last week around the, around the, the, the Christmas programme. So we have plenty of time to, to hopefully to get players back. There's been a bit of illness in the building, but we are looking forward to play the, the games. Uh, and Ralham is the next one playing away, and we want to have a good performance against them. And just finally from me, I apologise for asking. You will get asked at every single pre and post match uh, press conference about transfers while the window is open. Are you expecting any <coughs> incomings or outgoings in the next week? No, I think you are always. I think it's a very good question. Because uh, this period is about all those passion and transfer. Because everybody loves the game and everybody wants to hear those news. And we must be honest: yeah, uh, every window is an opportunity. We shouldn't waste a transfer window. Uh, we should try to make rowers better in that way. And I always say there needs to there always need to be player who going out of the building and new players. You need competition in the dressing room. And we want, of course, to go with direction with the club. So we should try to 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 see it as an opportunity. I know the. You have a problem with money if you compare it to a lot of other clubs, but we try to we need to try to do it differently. Well, the longer you go in this competition, that's unbudgeted money that comes in as well. Could that go into the old transfer kitty, maybe? Yeah, maybe, maybe, uh, but uh, but uh, it's not that big, huh? Okay, thank you. John, John can I just ask? Uh, yeah. Norwich had twenty six efforts and had twenty corners. Mm. What does that say for your side's organisation and heart? That they failed to score. Oh, the discipline was great, uh, and uh, I think the intensity was great, and, and the spirit. You see the boys, the way they work together, and, and wanted to get that clean sheet, which is extremely important in football. A big compliment. But it says that uh, that that we are we are slowly but slowly going in the right direction as a team, as a club. 
uh, there will be bumps on the way, but you can see that the boys are in the right place. They want to fight for, for rowers. Yeah, with the expectation that George will go back to, to Leicester, I guess that's an area of the pitch where you're looking, you really need reinforcements in attack. Yeah, I think I don't think it's official yet, but everybody knows a bit that George uh, George could could be could be going away. First of all, he's a great lad, uh, so uh, hopefully, if it's going to be official, he will have a great great time. Uh, but of course, if one player is going away, uh, there'll be room for, for 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 getting players in as well. First of all, salary. Second of all, we need uh, offensive players in then. Why do you think it's not worked for him? Mm -hmm. Uh, I think we, we should always hope that it will work for our players. He's a great lad, he's working extremely hard. Football is also about confidence, uh, small, small situation. Maybe it could have been different if he scored against Cardiff, you know that, the penalty in the end. Uh, but he's a great lad and I would have wished that he had been very successful in the rowers and also at this level. Um, and hopefully, hopefully he can do well. Is that the main position? Are you looking at the top end of the pitch, or are you, are you, if, you, if you can look in other areas, or is that the main focus at the top end of the pitch? Um, no, I think we should look in each position, uh, but still, uh, it's of course a money issue. You know that. You know that. I know that. Uh, and and it's a difficult window to generate a window, um, especially when you when you can't afford getting player in, if you can't cope with the salary at demands as well. Of course, we want to get player in who helps the team, so we become better as club. Uh, but we will be looking on, on, on each part of the game, so defensively, midfield, attacking, and then we will see what we can choose. But if there's one attacker going out, which we're not sure about yet, then we, of course, we need to get an offensive player in as well. Uh, is Scott okay? Yeah, uh, concussion, I think. Uh, we were afraid of that. So, um, so and, and, and at the moment, he, he's, he's all right. So we will, we will, of course, follow the protocol and, and, and hope that Scott is all right. Any more guys? Thank you. Okay. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you.